In this video, I'm going to show you how to save screenshots to a Word document as you run your test in parallel. You're watching Automate Now and I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. This video request comes from Yoyish. I hope I got your name right. If I didn't, please forgive me. They are saying that they want to take a screenshot of every test pass and failure and save them to a Word document. They also mentioned that whenever they run the test sequentially, everything seems fine, but they run into issues anytime that they run the test in parallel. I need to mention that before we can run our test in parallel, we need to make our framework thread safe. Now that is out of scope for this video. That's why I created a separate video to show you how to do that. Please check the video card above. I've also created another video to show you how to use TestNG to run tests in parallel. You can find that on the video card above. So those are the two prerequisites that we need to have. Our framework needs to be thread safe and we need to have TestNG properly configured to run tests in parallel. Now let's go to the code to answer this request. And this is the code that we're going to be using for this example. This code is available for you to use free of charge. You can find it on Automate's Now GitHub page. The link is provided in the description below. As you can see here, we have three tests. Each of these tests is going to fail. That's the way I've designed them. This first test is going to go to AutomateNow.io homepage and it's going to look for a certain page title. Since it doesn't find the right page title, it's going to fail. This other one here is going to go to Google and do the same thing. And this last one is going to go to NerdWallet.com. Now there's one class that I need to mention. It's this class right here that says test listener. This listener class has a method called onTestFailure. If you would like to learn how to implement this method, please check out the video card above. Essentially, this method is in charge of taking a screenshot anytime that a test fails. I understand that Jajash wants to take a screenshot anytime that a test fails and also when a test passes. In that case, you would have to implement a test screenshot method over here in this on test success as well. But in my case, I'm only interested in taking screenshots anytime that a test fails. So that's why I have this method right here. So when a test fails, it is going to take a screenshot of that test. Now that screenshot is going to be saved to a Word document. Now let's head over to the testng.xml file. This file has this class right here, save screenshot to file. And these are the three tests that we're going to be running. And to be clear, these three tests are going to run in parallel. Let's see what happened when we run this test in parallel. I'm going to right click this file here and go to run testng.xml. Our tests are finished and here we see test failed three out of three. So since three tests failed, we should expect three screenshots to be added to a Word document. Now by default, I have a new folder that gets created here, failed test. If I open this up, I'm going to find this document right here, screenshots.docx. This is the Word document. So let me go ahead and open this up. And to our surprise, there are only two screenshots. And this second screenshot appears to be broken. So there's definitely an issue in our framework that we need to fix. The reason why our screenshots are not being saved to the file or at least not all the screenshots, is because we have an issue with this on test failure here. What happens on this method right here, anytime that a test fails, we know that a screenshot is going to be taken. However, now we're running our test in parallel. This means that multiple tests are running at the same time. So this method is getting called multiple times. So let's look at this case right here. We have three threads running at the same time. And let's say that thread one finishes first, and then it tries to save the screenshot to the Word document. But within milliseconds apart, another thread finishes and it also tries to save a screenshot to the file. Now both threads are trying to save to the same file. And as you might imagine, this is going to cause issues because the screenshots are not going to be saved properly. And the more threads that we add, the more issues we're going to have. And we have one simple solution, and that is to make this method synchronized. And by that, I mean that we need to add the synchronized keyword to this method. So over here, we're going to say public and then space synchronized. What does the synchronized keyword do? Basically, it's going to make sure that only one thread is using this method at any given time. So it's going to give each thread enough time to open the file, save the screenshot, and then close the file so that the next thread can go in and do the same thing. Now that we have added this, let's go ahead and rerun this test and see what happens. But first, I'm going to delete this document right here. And then I'm going to rerun this XML file. And here we have the three tests running right now. And again, we see that all three tests failed right here. Now let's go ahead and open up the Word document once again. 
And there you have it. We have all three screenshots saved to this document. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. I release a new video every single week. In this video, I showed you how to save a screenshot to a Word document. If you would like to learn how to save a screenshot to an Excel report, please check out the video card on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next video.